can I do this? And yet, the problem is the jokes in Yiddish tend to be long. Um, Go right ahead. But if it's too long, you don't. You know, yeah, you, 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 you have <laughs> you have the hook. You have the whistle. Um, all right. I'm also going to mention that with the with the mail, because I hope you will hear it. And they have not only brought the shatchan, and and they have brought the bocha, and they sit in all together and read, and it's going very good. With the mail, the mail stays off. So it's like I'm off pishin, and they left away. The bocha. Er weiß nicht, was zu tun. Er ist sehr enttäuscht, dass er, er, er geht weg von, von der Haus. Und äh, das Mädel kommt zurück und äh, sie sagt, wo, wo, ist, wo, ist das, wo ist der Woche? Und äh, der Schatten sagt, er hat sich ein Mädel. Du darfst sagen, ab, ab, es ist nicht schön zu sagen, ich darf pischen. Du darfst sagen, etwas als ich, wie, ich darf benutzen die Blumen. Und sie sagt, Stosche. Eine Woche später kommt er zurück mit noch einer noch eine Woche. Sie sitzen alle zusammen und reden. Und äh, mit dem Mal, das Mädel steht auf, sagt sie, ich darf benutzen die Blumen und kacken euch. <lacht> Girl from a Hasidic family is uh, of marriageable age, and her parents obviously want to marry her off. So they um, bring in a matchmaker, and the matchmaker finds a, a young man, brings him to the house, and they're all sitting together. They don't get to be alone. They're all sitting together, and the uh, uh, having a comp nice conversation. They're getting to know each other. Suddenly, the girl stands up and says, "I gotta piss." She runs out of the room, and when she comes back. The boy's gone because he's he's you know he's not interested in such a crude girl. So the, the matchmaker says to her, "Listen, you 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 can't talk like that in front of a prospective match. You have to uh, you know you have to be polite. Instead of saying I have to piss, you have to say something like I need to water the flowers." <coughs> so the next week he comes back with a with a different suitor, and uh, um, they're all sitting together. Everything's going well, well, real well. The chocolate thinks he's got a match. Um, and the girl gets up. She says, "Excuse me, I have to water the flowers and take a dump too." <laughs> Brilliant translation! What a guy, Andy Portnoy. I was really hoping it was going to do the one about the guys at the bar when the big race was over. And first, the French the guy who is the French representative of the French Foreign Legion comes in. And he says, Oh la la, I am so tired and worn out from the race, I must have a glass of the wine. <laughs> then comes the German guy. Oh, ach du lieber, das ist eine Steiersum, as I am so tired and worn out, I must have a stein of beer. <laughs> and then comes the Jew. The Jew comes running here. Hi! I'm so tired and worn out, I must have diabetes! <laughs> okay. I can see, I can see comedy is calling. <laughs> Judith Molina for theater. Crystal Field for theater. Taylor Mead for theater. Happy Face, Taboo Steve Tashkian, Peter Kwaloff, and Ethel Eichelberger. Good Lord, what a crew. Please speak. I'm here for Judith. Uh, Judith delegated me. I'm Tom Walker, worked with Judith for 40 years. She's very busy. She's living in Englewood, New Jersey, as many of you know, at the Actors Fund home. She hates it, but she loves it. Uh, she's very healthy and everything. But as many of you know, she's in and out of New York constantly. Monday, we were at CUNY reading Frank O'Hara, and Bob was there. Tuesday, she celebrated her 87th birthday. Oh. Yesterday, she was at Sardi's restaurant getting the the League of Professional Women in Theater Award. 
And uh, right now she's rehearsing with Theodora Skipitaris for a play based on UNESCO's The Chairs, which will be on June 15th and 26th at the Humanities Gallery at Long Island University on Flatbush Avenue in Brooklyn. All right! She just doesn't stop. Uh, we're going to Italy in July to do The Plot is the Revolution twice with the Modus Theater in Bologna and Rome. She's writing a new play called No Place to Hide about our island here. And uh, she just published the Piscata Notebooks and she's writing more books and poetry. She's just uh, speeding along with her oxygen and sometimes the wheelchair, but she walks. And uh, so, you know what she did on Clinton Street, she used all that money that you or I might have retired on and sunk it into six years of, of wonderful life uh, on Clinton Street. Many, many plays and many productions and many of us were there. And so she's put so much into this community and she's not leaving it yet. All right. Thank you, Tom. That was really beautiful, beautiful.